This is kind of embarrassing, but I'm afraid of getting my hair cut. Ever since I was a little kid, my mom would drag me down to Supercuts, where a stranger you've never met before will touch your head and make you uncomfortable, and then they, they mess your hair up and you look weird, but you're supposed to smile, and your mom gives you $5 to go put on the counter as a tip. Even as an adult, even if I found a picture of a hot man with a hot haircut on Google that I want them to replicate, they still mess it up. You're, you're 12 years old and you have a ball cut, and no, no girls are interested in you because you look like you're eight. This is, I'm just, I'm digging up like year old trauma. At Supercuts, we've been trained to cut hair perfectly. Wrong. So no matter how you like it cut, you're gonna get the cut you like. That's not true at all. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. This is, they're lying, they're lying. Look at me. My hair looks like a dick. You know what? I don't have to deal with this. I want to build a robot so I can cut my own hair. And I know just the place to do it. At my old job, there is a robot that was built to dispose of and disarm bombs. I'm gonna commandeer a bomb disposal robot for my old job. Let's go to my let's go to my old job. Let's get in the car and drive on down to my old job. This is my old coworker, James. Boss. Do you want a grape? Yeah. This is the second time that I've seriously abused this company and my old coworkers. The first time was six hours of water jet cutting. Does that count as the second time? I feel like you're not very good at counting. That was the most agreed. I agree that was the most recent. Did anyone talk crap about me after that? No. Okay, thank God. <laughs> This is the lobster. The lobster is a teleoperated robot we built for having lots of dexterity so that it could be used to, for example, open bags and examine them remotely. There's a 3D viewfinder right here, a 3D camera on the front of the robot, and when you click this little foot pedal down here, these awesome robot arms come out and I can control them with my actual hands. The lobster is so nimble and delicate that not only can it disarm bombs, but it's capable of doing surgery on a grape. Grape down there, the scalpel right through the, almost cut in half, tear it in half. <laughs> Open wide. That's a good Alan. But William, how are you gonna cut your hair with that robot? Oh wow, thanks for asking. Let me explain. The lobster stores these little tool attachments that lock onto the claws. And so I designed my own scissor attachment to build. Did you know that I started working on this at the end of 2019? It took me two years to make this. Not because I'm bad at CAD, but because I am a procrastinator. There's no way I'm putting these scissors anywhere near my face until I get a little bit of practice in. So let's try something a little bit more challenging. Something you guys have been asking me to do for years. I'm going to take this man's pants off. Are you ready? I, I don't know how to answer that question. I mean, I guess it's happening. There's no answer that, there's no way to actually be ready for this. I, uh -huh. I don't know. Actually, let me, get, let me get the GoPro. All right, first <laughs> we need to Go in and gently grab the oh, zipper. I can't even look. Oh my god. All right. Oh my god. So, oh, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> now his zipper has been undone, and I am prying open the zipper. Oh my god. Dude, look at, look at, yeah, you can see his wiener. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna untuck your shirt. Don't be scared. I don't. Oh, I'm very scared. I can't. You can't just tell don't. someone to not be scared. Come a little closer. Come, come towards me. All right, now we're gonna investigate what's inside of your belly button. Unfortunately, there was nothing in Alan's belly button except a couple of Skittles and half a green bean. Don't worry. Worst case is we just accidentally rip your penis right off. And five minutes later, you're getting significantly closer to naked. Alan was no longer wearing pants. Normally, you pay money for a view like this. <laughs> And it's finally time to test out the scissor attachment that James has secretly been working on because he takes over everything. He takes over every project you ever start. If you show it to him, he starts working on it. Look at him. He's finishing the attachment. <laughs> hey, James, you want a job? Then finally, for the first time in my entire life, something was wrong that wasn't my fault. Yeah, you see that? Oh, that was weird. That feels like a bug. The gripper is twisting. It should not be twisting like that. So if we put a tool in it, it's gonna go haywire. I really need a haircut, but I also really need to keep my eyeballs. Uh, we're doing some uh, epic r gamer moment repairs because James's invention is broken as shit. We've got our scissor attachment and our buzzer attachment. You wanna grab the scissors? Perfect, now it's locked in. All right, the scissors are working. There's a giant servo called a Dynamixel that's driving the scissors open and close, and we simply trick the robot into thinking it's one of the other tools, and so it just works. The buzzer attachment's way easier. It's just VHV to the cheapest electric trim I could find. So I donned right. the 3D visor. 
ready for my haircut, me. All right, I'll be with you right in one second, sir. Thank you. I'm gonna hand off to my Dr. Octo arms. This is amazing! I just handed myself a freaking pair of scissors to my robot arm that I now can open and close. This is the coolest thing ever. The first step of cutting hair is to uh, get it wet. Well, we're not gonna do that because it's a robot. Brush, it doesn't really seem like it's doing anything. All right, so I'm gonna then, I'm just gonna, start, just gonna start cutting my hair. Like, what, what's the worst that's gonna happen? Okay, not a whole lot of hair came off with that bite. Okay, there's some hair right there. We're making chips. Are these scissors just crap? Yes. Uh-oh, I should've used nicer scissors. I wasn't making any progress with the safety scissors, so I got rid of my attachments and switched to the buzzer. All right. The buzzer is working much better, but there is still just too much hair, which makes it almost impossible to make any progress. It just binds up, but at least we're cutting some hair off. Can I please put, can, can I, can I please put it on top of your head? If you already did. <laughs> you look 20 years younger. <laughs> oh we have the exact same hair color. Do you want me to take it off now? <laughs> it's like a shitty toupee. It doesn't look bad, It really doesn't. Let's not go crazy. You know, I'm just trying to get this mop off. You know how time flies when you're having fun? Well, this was the longest 30 minutes of my life, slowly chipping away at my hair until I finally was left with what might be the greatest haircut I've ever had in my entire life. All right, don't laugh. I have a dirty gas station bag out of haircut right now. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. God. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's methamphetamine. And then I let James have a go at my hair because there's no way he could possibly make this any worse. <laughs> so this is okay with you? Uh... As long as the person is touching you via robot. I think that I might just hate getting my hair cut. It doesn't matter who does it. Looks like I live in Flint, Michigan and drink <laughs> nothing but tap water. <laughs> How do I fix this? I don't want to go to Super I should, I, I should, I, I should go to Supercuts. <laughs> Why? Do you what? see this side is long and that side is shaped? Yeah, it's style. Turn around. It's called style. Let me see the back. He used a robot to cut his hair. Yeah, it needs to be awful. fixed. So All right. Fixed, and this is kind of the style as best as you can get to okay. that. Well, good to know I, that my profession can be taken by a robot. Yeah. The lobster just might be one of my favorite robots ever. And it was built by a team of extraordinarily talented engineers who spent a ton of their life learning these skills to build such robots. Which is why this video is sponsored by KiwiCo. This is a STEAM learning kit that will help the future innovators of tomorrow learn about engineering, math, and science. And it's all packaged in a really, really entertaining, explorative box that comes with all the materials they need to build cool science demonstrations. I would have killed for something like this as a kid. This is KiwiCo's animation contraption. It's a complete learning experience to help develop deep roots. It's really difficult to inspire yourself or kids to want to learn. And this is exactly how my mom motivated me by providing me with materials that let me explore things I was interested in. This whole experience is so well thought out and well documented and the art is great. Like there's just nothing but good things to say about this. Look it, it's a cool little gear animation. But if you want to get 50% off your first month of KiwiCo, you can go to kiwico.com slash William50. The little brainiac nerd in your life, don't deprive them. Make them smart and make their brain grow big. And then they'll get a well-paying job and they can take care of you when you retire. Hmm? You wanna grow old and decrepit and not have anybody paying for a nice retirement home? No, get your kids into Steam. Get them KiwiCo so they can pay for a nice retirement.